Hey guys, what's going on? Dace here, and today we're going to be checking out Raging Blasters on Nintendo Switch. Um, some of you will have already heard uh, from the other videos. Whoa, we're already in the action! No, let's actually just go like this. Um, yeah, this is one of the four shmups I just picked up the other day from the Japanese eShop. Um, I have been aware of this game for quite some time, but I've never watched anyone really play it, so I couldn't tell you how it works and all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, let's just jump right in. I did boot up just to do some sound checks, and so I did check out the how to play. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, one thing that I did notice, arcade, normal, hard, expert, normal. Uh, sweet, you know what, let's just keep it on normal for now. One thing I did think was really, really cool, which I haven't seen in a shmup for a long ass time, is the ability to switch ship speeds. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So who do we want to play as? Fell Arnis, Limlia, ooh, totally going with her, him or her, I have no idea who's who. You have been selected for a mission of the utmost secrecy. Your mission is to destroy the enemy. Good luck. <laughs> Sweet mission. Um... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm wondering if these are... Okay, I just want to make sure these weren't actually walls I could get toasted on, but we're good. And I'm already loving this. I'm loving the the art style, the colors, the action. I love that this just plunges you right into it. And I really like the, the fact that you've just got this... Let's go with that, the fire flame shot, or the homing. So I'm clicking the, um, or pressing the, uh, the speed change button, but I'm not really noticing a difference. Actually, yeah, I am. Okay, cool. That was really sweet. Just took me a, a moment to register the, the difference between the two. But anyway, I'm trusting you are all having an awesome day. It's been uh, a mix of busy and relaxed on my end. Just, I put a quite a bit of time today into actually revamping some of the um, channel thumbnails, which some of you might be noticing now. Um, and I'm loving, uh, loving them, to be honest. Uh, it's been a fun project this afternoon, so I'm stoked about that. There are still quite a few to do and uh, all that, but bit by bit, I do want to improve things, like I said in one of the Cotton Reboot videos, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep improving as we go. Oh, cool. Destructible enemy fire, or at least some of it. I always like when shmups offer a mix between ones you can cancel out and ones you can't, because it's just that much more to focus on. We'll go with this. I, I want to get like a, a nice feel for the different uh, additional weapons we got going on here. I kind of want to avoid the laser for now, though. In other news, um, I've still been practicing my no-miss uh, runs in GGLesta 3. I am getting so close, you guys. It's not even funny. Um, but it's it really interesting because you can pretty much feel like you've mastered oh that was just silly i thought it would take them out way faster than that you can pretty much um feel like you've mastered a game on like a specific mode or whatever like anytime i'm just going for a normal 1cc and then ggls to 3 i'm very confident that i can do it every single time at this point 
But man, when you buckle down for something like not being able to lose a single life, you really, really have different weaknesses pop up, which is a great opportunity to just improve. Um, I learned three really, really cool things yesterday night just from playing um, that really, really helped me to tighten up my my game, essentially. Um, so this is a really cool boss, by the way. <laughs> Talking more about other shmups while <laughs> showcasing this one. Um, but one of the things I learned is in stage five, when the like jet fighters are like flying all over the place, sometimes they can come out of seemingly nowhere, like from the side. They can come in quick and they can just run right into you. And then it's like, oh shit, there goes your shield. Um, but one thing I learned yesterday about the chain chaser weapon, which is my, my main weapon, I love using that, um, is that they will go off screen to where the out of sight enemies are. So you already have a bit of a heads up as to where they're going to be coming from. And I thought that was so helpful because I'm fumbling around that part way, way less now. Um, almost never anymore, which is a huge, huge improvement. Uh, another thing, the stage five boss, that oh, guy when he uh, throws the crystals, this isn't like a huge, a huge one, but it's an observation that I wasn't aware of before and it really helps knowing about it. Oh, sweet, I didn't even see this guy. Um, when he starts his attack with the, uh, the purple spiraling crystals and all that kind of stuff, um, he always seems to start from the right side. So there were a few situations where my ship would be on the left side of the screen, and then when he starts with it on the right side and it crosses over, you're already creating more and more of a limited space for yourself, uh, which just creates issues. Like, I don't want that to happen. So, holy smokes. Um, you know what? I could just hold down. Oh, I see. No, it takes half of it away. Never mind. Um, so that's really beneficial to know because then I can always start on the right side with that and just avoid that entire phase way, way better. Instead of needing to squeeze through tight spaces and all that kind of stuff as the two groups of crystals cross paths, uh, there's just way more. Like You just go from one side to the next, leading them away, and there's just a huge gap you have to work with by comparison. Uh, so that was another really, really sweet thing. The third thing I learned was just the stage six halfway boss. Um, I had three runs yesterday night. I think it's all around like the 35 minute mark by the time you get there. I had three runs in a row, died at the exact same boss. And I was just like, you've got to be joking me. Like I've done this fight f just fine other times. What is going on here? So I put some time into practicing it and sometimes there's very simple solutions and my issue was i was just taking out too many of those little purple things that are uh, once you destroy them they spray out all these shots at you i was taking out way too many so obviously that created way less uh, room for evading and getting away um, so i've devised a way in which i just take out a few and then i avoid the laser shot that he does and then I take out the rest, and then I just continue to avoid the laser stuff until he's uh, completely dealt with. And so that has definitely opened up a lot of consistency for that specific fight. So um, at some point tonight, I will certainly be... I'm just not even paying attention, geez. Um, we'll continue for now. Because, uh, yeah, this isn't like a serious run or anything like that. We're just kind of shooting the breeze. Um... But yeah, that kind of consistency is really what I'm going for. And um, like I said, it's a whole other ball game when you are no missing. Um, but you just become so, so much more aware of what you need to be doing and what you don't want to be doing. And uh, I feel like I've just learned a great deal from last light, <laughs> last light, last night alone. Um, and I, that kind of just brings up the whole topic of like when you want to tackle some of these big accomplishments when it comes to shmups, like it's, it's always going to take time and energy, paying attention, just grinding through it, seeing what you can learn. And also, oh, I keep doing the same thing. And also just 
reminding yourself that like yeah it's not gonna be something you do the first night necessarily like it's gonna take effort uh, but it's worth it because uh yeah just the way you feel when you have the confidence and the knowledge and all that kind of stuff and you've really tightened everything up it just that is such a great feeling so anyway that's a long long ass rant about where things are sitting with the Gnomus. I wonder if I have like any special... Okay, I don't think we have like a... a bomb or anything like that. But we're definitely gonna get rid of this guy, that's for sure. But yeah, I, I want to do another huge thanks to everybody who has just been coming to the channel, checking things out. Um, it's been really, really awesome. Oh my god, every time! Like, what? Um, yeah, things have just been picking up and it's really exciting and it's really refreshing to just keep the chats up and all the comments and be meeting other people who are either streaming or they have channels or whatnot. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And I'm super, super thankful. Oh my god, okay. We're gonna give this one more shot. Maybe I'll just like hold that down. Oh, what the hell, dude? Are you kidding me? So they're about to come. I'm just going to be aware of that this time. They're going to come like any second. I'm going to be ready for them. Oh man, things are speeding up here. This is getting serious. Oh yes, I knew it. Oh, I didn't take him out fast enough. So, it will be interesting to see how long this game is. Uh, I mean, how many stages. Um, my buddy Octane did say that uh, I'd be able to just... Or he, he suggested to um, do my 1ccs, like, one after another for all the modes. Um, so, I think that is definitely what I will do. Um, I'll probably get a bit of a feel for the game first and then just go for that uh, so you guys can expect some videos to be on the way as per usual We're not messing that up. Oh, as if. Okay, let's see what we can do to this guy. What's this guy's story? Oh my god! Okay, well, now we know. Oh, 
Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, yes, 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 pay attention, kid. Oh my god. But we got him. Oh, we almost had him. Where is he coming? Where is he coming? Nice. We did it, peeps. Stage clear. Wow. I'm really enjoying this. This is, uh... Really, really cool. Uh, yeah. Getting smarter with those guys, that's for sure. Oh my god. It's probably not the best way to handle it, but at least we're handling it. I think we'll stick with the medium speed. Ooh, what have we here? Okay, you know what? Let's just avoid that. This reminds me a lot of uh, one of the levels in Omega Fighter. That is a wicked shmup. If you guys have never checked it out, please do. Oh, what the hell? I just drove, drove right into that. Um, and also stage six. Oh my god. Of... Uh, GGLS to 3, where you're going up the side of these huge-ass ships, and they're just, like, turrets and ships and all sorts of mayhem. Except in Omega Fighter, it's a hell of a lot more intense. But that game is so good. I'm not sure how much of this ship I can actually go over top of, so I'm just avoiding. Oh! Okay, so corners like that. You're definitely gonna take your toll if you're not paying attention to a section that's like jutting out as it scrolls up and down, or whatever the case is. Jeez. Oh, yep. What's he gonna do? Oh, okay, so we've gotta be shooting the green thing, okay. Good to know. Holy shit! Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna give this one more go. Because, yeah, I've said it before in other videos, like, oh my god, I don't feel like I ever really need to do super long videos just to, like, share the visuals and, like, the stages and what the game looks like and how it plays and all that kind of stuff, so I think uh, short and sweet is, like, nice, so anywhere from, like, 20 to 30 minutes is great in my books, especially now that I'm buckling down with actually doing more with each shmup, like 1cc runs and blah blah blah, whatever else. Um, it's not like you need to watch a 40 minute playthrough of a, a shmup and then 
watch the same thing, but when I'm actually 1cc'ing it after the first play or whatever. That's a really cool detail. Um, shooting the enemies just has this, like, spray of, like, sparks or whatever it is. And uh, a golden... or a golden for the enemies, I think? Yeah. But against some of the uh, surfaces of this massive ship, it's like a silvery color. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to keep a safe dist. Because, like, I don't even care about taking them out. I'd rather just ensure my survival, to be honest. By not getting clipped by things like that. forgot those guys were coming. Wow, that is like super effective. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, lasers, of course, of course. Crushed. Cool. New personal best. So I think what we'll do, we'll check out the next level just as far as we go until we get like the next game over. And no matter the outcome, that will be where we leave off. Already loving the look of these enemies. It's like outer space peppermints or something. More like hot tamale ones. Hot tamale. I think this is really, really cool. I can definitely see th this being a very, very easy um, 1cc. Because, like, other than fumbling for things that I'm not yet or didn't anticipate anyway, like, I, I know better now. Um, so I feel like it won't take much to just, like, clean up the runs. So I'm really excited to do that. Oh, interesting. The legs are getting longer. Looks that way anyway. Love the sound effects. I was thinking about that earlier this afternoon, just how much I love the sound of... Uh, different explosions in the way shmups uh, do them. Each game is so different. Oh, why didn't you take that dude out? I suppose I could just stay there like that, too. Warning. Are we at the boss already? What? Oh my god! I 
feel like he's, yep, yeah, gonna do something crazy. Oh my god, dude! Seriously. That was craziness. You know what? It's time to just smash. Okay. Oh, what was that? That was so silly. There was no reason for that when this guy's like a chump. One up. We're still in the game, peeps. Stage five. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure what was going to happen there. Oh! <laughs> yeah, ace pilot. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's so good. <laughs> Man, these feel like short ass levels. Oh my god. This guy's got tricks. Oh, okay, that isn't actually. Alright, never mind. Don't mind me. I do really like that cross shot that's like really really sweet because it, whoa what do we got going on here because we at least got um oh my god that's really cool that's really really cool um because like when certain waves come flying up you can kind of like at least get rid of a few and then you're dealing with less not that there's much threat really going on here to be honest but in the harder modes, I'm sure it will be a lot more chaotic. Pretty sure it's just this one. Four for four. That's what I'm talking about. Stage six. Oh man, this music sounds like it means business. Could it mean this is the, the final stage? Or 
Or are they going to pull a, a stage 7 on us? I actually won't be surprised if there are 7 stages. These are going pretty quickly. Oh my god. And it's cool that this is two player. Warning. Oh, so unnecessary. Oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm not doing that again, kid. Yes! Jeez. I would love to get a life. <laughs> I would love to get a life. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How long are we gonna hang on, peeps? Oh my god. I don't want to even bother going into the middle there. Let's just play it safe for the sake of surviving as long as we can. Oh my god. Oh my god, I almost took that. I wonder if he's going to come, like, further down and do any of that kind of nonsense. Oh my god, let's just, like, not take it. Sweet! Wow, we are hanging on! One up! We are in this, people! We are in this. There's got to be another stage. Yep. Okay, interesting. Having the homing right now would be sweet. But what else? Oh, come on, dude, just like hit the thing.
Ooh, look what we got. Oh my god, we almost bit that! Oh my god. Nice. So I'm wondering if, like, stage 7 is just kind of like a boss rush or something, or what's going on here. <laughs> Those remind me of the, um... The long-ass, uh, laser... things in... Oh! A level of, um, Mega Man. I think it's, like, Ring Man's stage? Where you can, like, run across, like, these rainbow platforms. But as soon as you step onto it, it starts to, like, vanish. So you've got to be, like, really careful. Oh, yes. Let's not mess this up. Oh my god! Goodbye. Another life would be amazing. I feel like we're so close to just, like, once he's seeing this now, like, first time playing it. Um... But hey, whatever happens, happens. Oh man, that was a little too risky. Meanwhile, we're like at 40 minutes. Oh, dude, 40 minutes like I didn't necessarily want to. So anyway, like I said, that's going to be it. But that is really, really sweet. I'm thinking this is super cool just to jump into it. This is th this doesn't strike me as like one that I would just like play day after day and all that kind of stuff. But for what it is and for how cheap it is, uh, I'm super stoked to have this and finally be checking it out. It's uh, really, really cool. So anyway, that being said, peeps, let me know if you've picked this up or if you want to check it out at some point, um, what you think of it, uh, maybe what you like, what you don't like, um, or even any recommendations that you might have. Uh, I'm always open to that. Of course, I'm just on Switch these days, but um, I'm always interested in hearing what people like uh, shmup-wise. So anyway, we'll leave off there for now. You guys have a stellar one. Thank you so much for being here, and we will see you next time.